Um, hello, friends. Today we are going to discuss an MCQ that came in the AIMS SR examination that MCQ pertains to external inflammatory root resorption. Now, in the previous video, we discussed uh, root resorption and more in more detail, what we discussed was external cervical resorption and the hethesase classification. Today, we are going to discuss a more common form of root resorption, that is external inflammatory root resorption. Now, uh, this question that came in AIMS SR examination about a couple of years back, it, it was one single question which incorporated three or four important concepts. So we'll be discussing that. Now, before starting, I would just like to tell you that I've written a textbook of endodontics. As you can see here, this is my textbook of endodontics in which all the 24, 25 chapters of endodontics uh, important for the BDS curriculum have been presented, uh, have been written in a, in a manner which is easy to understand, incorporating all the important topics from Cohen, Ingle, and Grossman. Now, um, at the end of each chapter, very high yield MCQs like the one asked in AIMS, SR, uh, All India, NEET, INI have been uh, put along with their explanations and their answers. So under the heading of brain teasers, as you can see here, this is the heading of brain teasers after every chapter, high yield MCQs. For example, this is the chapter of dental traumatology that we are talking of. And uh, in the end, under, under the section of brain teasers, I put this MCQ that came in the AIMS SR examination. So let us discuss this. Um, yeah, I'll share the screen first. Okay. Um, yeah. So the question goes like a patient, um, yeah, a patient presented with a history of trauma 21 days back. It was a luxation injury in the upper lateral incisor. The radiographic examination revealed external root resorption. Now, in the treatment part, the clinician placed a creamy mix of calcium hydroxide following cleaning and shaping. Now, the follow-up should be done after how much time? One month, three months, six months, or nine months? Now, this is the question. Now, in this one question, one single question, there are three, four things going on simultaneously. So, let us mark each one. So, there is this history of trauma. 21 days back. Now, this 21 days is a very important point in terms of treatment protocol. The entire treatment protocol changes according to duration. Okay. This was a severe luxation injury. Has to be. Why? Because the examiner himself has told us that on radiographic examination, we could see external evidence of external root resorption. Then the in the treatment part, there is the mention of creamy mix of calcium hydroxide. That's another important part. Why? Because this is what is going to give us the hint that, that will direct us towards the answer. The creamy mix of calcium hydroxide. All right, friends. So now let us look at uh, where exactly we are placed with external inflammatory root resorption. As discussed in the previous video as well. When we talk of root resorption, we have... What all? We have physiologic and we have pathologic. Under pathologic, we have what? External and we have internal root resorption. Under external, we have external inflammatory root resorption and external cervical root resorption. So today's topic of uh, discussion is external inflammatory root resorption. Okay, are we good till here? Now this sets the tone of the further discussion, right? This is the perspective that we have got. Where exactly are we placed in the classification? Okay, then the next important point that we need to discuss here is what? The etiopathogenesis. What is the etiology of external inflammatory root resorption? Now, etiology of any root resorption is twofold. One is the precipitating cause or the initiating cause. Why? Which is going to what? Disrupt the pre-cementum layer. Because only if this organic pre-cementum layer is disrupted, that the odontoclasts will then come and attach with the mineralized cementum. 
Okay, and then root resorption will start taking place only when the odontoclasts have physical attachment. They will form that ruffled brush border. Okay, and uh, they will start eating up the damaged tissue. Okay, so what is that which causes, what is the most common cause for external inflammatory root resorption to happen in which the pre-cementum layer is damaged? It is dental traumatic injuries. It is trauma versus in the previous video, what did we discuss? We discussed external cervical resorption in which the most important cause of causing damage to the pre-cementum layer was ortho treatment. Traumatic injuries were secondary. Here, dental traumatic injuries are number one. Amongst the dental traumatic injuries, what are the uh, what are what are, what are the two types of dental traumatic injuries? They are fractures and luxations. Now, luxations are more damaging to the pre-cementum layer. Right now, amongst luxations, which are the most severe, they are the most severe is avulsion, and second most severe is intrusion. In this case, the tooth will definitely become non vital And then the third most severe is lateral luxation, in which the chances of the tooth becoming non vital are about and about 77%. That is also pretty high. In avulsion, it's 100% that the tooth will become necrotic. In intrusion, it's almost 95% to 100%. And in lateral luxation, 77%. So what do you do? The moment the patient comes with a re-implanted avulsed tooth or an intruded tooth or a lateral lux laterally luxated tooth, the first thing that should come to mind is start doing root canal treatment. Do a root canal treatment. Initiate it within 7 to 10 days. Why? This is the most important critical point here, which will determine the, the, the course of action, right? Which will determine the treatment protocol. And from there, we reach the answer to this question. Okay. So let us see why. I have said, I'll repeat what I've said. The moment the patient comes with an avulsion, a reimplanted tooth that was avulsed, or an intrusive injury, start your root canal treatment within 7 to 10 days. Why? Because any necrotic tooth will become colonized with microorganisms. In other words, simply will become infected by 21 days, that is 3 weeks. By 21 days. Now that is the critical point. 21 days. So in order to prevent that, in order to prevent a necrotic tooth, root canal, to be filled with and colonized with microorganisms, start your root canal treatment within 7 to 10 days. Why? So what, what, is, what is the advantage? Because then your treatment protocol is shorter. How come? What will you do? If you start your root canal treatment timely within the first week, then you just have to give a calcium hydroxide dressing after your BMP. Of course, you start your access opening, you do your cleaning and shaping, you give a calcium hydroxide dressing only for one to two weeks and that is sufficient. After that, obturate and keep the patient on follow-up. But if 21 days have elapsed, then your root canal system is colonized with bacteria. Then what do you do? you have a longer treatment protocol. What do you do? You start with, again, same, the first appointment, access opening, BMP, but now you give a creamy mix of calcium hydroxide for one month. Then you recall the patient on the second visit and you give a thick mix of calcium hydroxide for three months. And you keep recalling the patient after three months to check whether radiographically the radiolucent areas on the external root surface, number one, lamina dura has been reconstituted, number two, and the radiolucencies on the alveolar bone side have resolved. And then you finally obturate it. That is the treatment protocol. That is a longer treatment protocol, which is... Yes, it is slightly controversial, but that is what Anderson and Cohen recommend. So, coming back to the question. 
patient presented with history of trauma 21 days back. Luxation injury, external root resorption. The root is non vital. Okay. See, yeah, very important point here to note is that the moment there is external root resorption, the tooth has to be non vital. You know why? Because uh, uh, as I said, the first thing, etiology, there are two points. One is the precipitating cause, which will damage the pre cementum layer, and the, per, the sustaining cause. There has to be the presence of microorganisms in the necrotic root canal system for the root resorption to sustain itself and lead to these radiographic changes which you see on the x ray as early as three to four weeks up to a period of one year. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the tooth is non-vital, it is infected, right? The clinician places a creamy mix of calcium hydroxide, following cleaning and shaping, the follow-up is done after one month, no doubt. Okay, so this was this concept building. Now, just one more very uh, important additional point that I would like to tell you is that the only way to diagnose an external inflammatory root resorption is through x-rays. And Sometimes in cases where it is very aggressive, it can be seen as early on the x-ray. It can be seen as early as three to four weeks after the injury. That is after the tooth has become non-vital and the pre-cementum layer has been damaged and up to one year. Sometimes it's not, a pre it, it, it's not very fast, right? The, the, the resorption is not so severe. So it can be seen up to one year. Okay. So... Friends, this was about this very important question, which incorporated three or four important concepts. This is Dr. Ashwari Kaushik. Um, I regularly take live classes as well as we have a practical training institute, um, both situated in South Delhi, right? I was, I'm a through and through Malani and I got a All India PG uh, rank fifth in my MDS entrance examination in 2011. In the Delhi state examination, I was ranked number one. At that point of time, we used to have separate exams. Then in the Ames New Delhi senior residency exam, I was ranked uh, second. And in the MAMC senior residency exam, I topped the exam. I am the author of the textbook of endodontics by Dr. Ashwin Gaushi. That's my name. It's very readily available on all the leading online platforms. That's Amazon, Bookspine, Flipkart, All India Book House, etc. Etc. Friends, so happy reading. Okay. And I wish you all the very best. Keep watching my videos and keep studying hard. Best wishes to all of you.